Many thousands of years ago, this landscape would have looked pretty much the same. Here in Australia, from Arnhem Land in the north, the wilderness of the Kimberley in the west, through to the deserts of the central country, and the glorious rainforests of the Daintree, many hundreds of native Aboriginal tribes have lived as part of this land. <laughs> The white man, when he came here, he really done a good job on us. With disruptions to our society, has really left us with no language or very little language. It left us with little knowledge of our country. My mother was uh, sent to Palm Island with her family, dumped on the beach, and left there. And that's only one generation, so it's not that long ago. Forty years ago, teaching Aboriginal languages in schools was strictly forbidden. In fact, if a child was caught speaking their language, they would be caned. Yellow bunny burralagu, nadaji waterbagu. That means, hey you fellas, come in here, have a look around, let's talk. The beautiful thing is though, in this classroom, those kids are the experts. Culture is about living and looking after your people and the land. If you don't have your land, you don't have your culture. Culture isn't about money. Growing up with family, yeah. it's very important that we have to keep our language alive. Yeah. Tourism can be a poison chalice. Can tourism come to the aid of these fast disappearing cultures? Is tourism a help or is it a hindrance? Come with us, let's see what we find out.